I want to take you through my entire software engineering journey over the past 10 years. I'll walk you through all of the jobs and gigs that I've had, how much money I've made from them, and share with you what's a very unique path that's much different than most other traditional software engineers. But before I dive in here, I want to be clear about something. This video isn't to brag or to show off. It's really just to illustrate how much work it actually takes to get good at what you do, and the journey that I'm going to share with you here might seem intense. And honestly, I'm even surprised by how much I've done over the past few years when I'm looking back at this. But this is what's required to build the skills and reputation that create true freedom in your software engineering career. And for me, that's what software engineering has become. Freedom, the ability to make money however and whenever I want without being tied to a traditional 9 to 5 job, as you're going to see with a lot of the roles that I have in this video. Anyways, let's get into it here. Now, my journey didn't start with my first job. It started when I was 12 years old. That's when I wrote my first line of code and I was immediately hooked. By the time I graduated high school, I had already built well over 50 personal projects. Yes, 50 projects, and these weren't just hello world programs. I was building games, websites, tools, anything that I could think of. One that comes to mind right now is that I actually built a mobile app to help me manage all of the photos that I would take of my textbooks. Quick side note here, but I always had to walk to school. It was like a 20 minute walk there and back. And I was getting so tired of lugging my crazy huge textbooks every way. So I would simply take photos of the pages that I needed. But then what happened is my camera roll would fill up like crazy. So I actually built my own mobile app to manage all of those pages so that I could track them based on the category, the page number, notes related to them. Sure, relatively simple, but back then that was a huge accomplishment and something I used literally every single day. Now throughout this time, I was also starting my YouTube channel. This is where I was sharing what I was learning, and this wasn't just a side project. It was actually building my personal brand before I even knew what that meant or before I was trying to do that intentionally. Now I did end up going to college for computer science, and I actually had really good grades. But after two and a half years, I realized that the degree really wasn't adding much to what I already knew, so I made the decision to drop out and focus on real world experience. After all, I had made tons of money, I had landed jobs, coding related gigs, as you're going to see in this video. Now, this is something that surprises a lot of people. Why would you drop out of university or college, wherever you guys want to call it, when you're almost finished? You just have three semesters left. Well, for me, it was a huge opportunity cost. I was paying to go there, and I just knew that I could make it on my own without needing this degree. So I decided to take that risk. And to be honest, I couldn't be happier that I did that. Okay, so let's continue here. I want to get into all of my experience, but I do quickly want to let you know that I did just relaunch my private mentorship program, DevLaunch. If you're interested in it, click the link in the description, but we'll talk more about that later. Anyways, my first real tech job was actually as a junior systems administrator back in 2016 when I was just 16 years old. Yes, I was born in the year 2000. Now I was making $20 Canadian per hour, which came out to about $3,200 per month. Now in this role, I maintained servers, wrote small automation script, and just helped with home automation projects. Now what made this interesting though was the clientele that I was working for. I was working for a high-end AV and home automation company, and that served some of the wealthiest people in Canada. Even though I was doing entry-level work, I was getting exposed to high-level expectations and premium technology solutions for literally billionaires with like 40,000 square foot houses. It was crazy. I can literally remember getting lost in some of these houses because of just how massive they were. Anyways, in 2017, I pivoted to become a STEM program coordinator at a summer camp. Now, for two years, I managed all of the STEM activities, and I designed a coding program to teach kids between about 10 to 14 years old how to code in Python. Now, similarly to the last one, this role paid 800 Canadian dollars per week, again, about $3,200 monthly, and I did this for two years. Now, I did do this job when I was in university and high school, so I was doing it in the summer, so I was only able to work like two months. Now, this job was really important for me because first, it helped me develop my teaching skills, which is really what I do now. Second, it was actually the inspiration for my YouTube channel, which would later become a crucial part of my personal brand and honestly what I've done for a very long time now. Now, during this time, I was also doing freelance tutoring on the side. 
So I would charge between 50 to $100 per hour when I was tutoring students. And this was allowing me to kind of get a taste of entrepreneurship, setting my own rates, working on my own time. And from there, I pretty much got addicted to that. Now, fast forward to 2022, and I was able to land a game-changing internship at Microsoft. Now, this paid me 7,350 US dollars per month, which was insane money for an intern. But the best part was that this was completely remote. This actually happened during the pandemic. I was supposed to go work in person in Seattle or in Redmond, Washington, but that didn't end up happening. So I did it from my parents' basement. Now I worked on the Python extension for Visual Studio Code, which was a really cool experience. And it taught me how to work in a big company and develop enterprise level software. Now, Microsoft actually offered me a full-time position afterwards. That would have been the safe choice to go with, you know, good salary, prestige, stability, etc. But I decided to turn it down. Now that's because I had caught the entrepreneurial bug. I wanted freedom. I wanted to build my own path. And I really didn't want to work a normal nine to five job, even though I don't really have many complaints about Microsoft. Now, looking back, this was a huge turning point for me in my career. I chose freedom over potential security and predictability. And you're going to see for the next parts of this video, everything that I do is not a traditional dev job. I have a bunch of random things, courses, gig work, freelance stuff, startups, and it really kind of gets crazy. But honestly, that's what I love. And that's how I wanted to build my career. Now, with that said, I want to take a quick pause and tell you about what I'm currently focusing most of my efforts on. And that's dev launch, a private mentorship program that I've built from the ground up with an ex Google engineer, Kevin Nodding Jr. and Kenny Gunderman, a coding YouTuber and also experienced developer who currently runs a large team and develops huge software used by millions of people. Now, DevLaunch helps developers become confident, job-ready software engineers in four months through real code feedback, project-based learning, technical mentorship, and interview preparation from experienced engineers like Kevin, who's done many interviews in his career at Google. It's extremely limited and only designed for people that already know how to code. So if that sounds interesting to you, click the link below and apply to the program to see if you're a good fit. Anyways, let's move on to my next chapter. This is about 2020, 2021, when I started working at Algo Expert. Now, this is where things really accelerated, where I started really becoming more of an entrepreneur. And I actually wrote and recorded 60 interview questions for the Algo Expert platform. It's an interview kind of prep platform. Now, along with that, I was doing some light software development work for the questions that I was doing. And I was paid a flat rate. I can't disclose the exact amount, but I'll say that it was between 50 and $100,000 to do these questions questions. Now that hopefully gives you a general idea, but I didn't stop there. In 2021, I actually teamed up with Algo Expert again to develop programming expert. Some of you guys may have heard of this. This is a course that still exists where I teach Python, Go, and various other programming concepts. And I wrote a bunch of code for the platform, designed the questions, recorded all of the content. And I'll tell you transparently that this project over its lifespan earned me over a quarter million dollars. Now that includes development fees, flat payments, royal royalties, all kinds of stuff. I can't get into all of the details, but I give you a general figure. Then in 2022, I actually developed Blockchain Expert. Now, this was a platform for learning blockchain engineering. I spent months studying this because I wasn't a blockchain expert at the time. I came up with the content, wrote everything from scratch, and we even had the course audited by real blockchain developers that actually do this every day to ensure that the information was really good. Now, this project brought in about $200,000, and this was because this actually launched the week after the FTX crash. Best possible timing right when crypto was just completely going down. So the interest in that was really just not great. Even though I spent a lot of time working on that course and personally, I think it's very, very good information. Anyways, in just over two years with Algo Expert, I'd earned, let's say about a half a million dollars. But more importantly, I had proven to myself that I could create valuable educational content at scale. And this was in combination to the income that I was generating from my YouTube channel. The whole time I was doing all of this, I was still running YouTube, taking brand deals, doing all kinds of video tutorials, making money from AdSense, etc. Now, not everything in this journey, though, has been a success. And I want to point out something that was a massive failure for me, but a huge learning opportunity. And that was from 2022 to 2024. 
Now at this point, I was actually a 33% owner in a tech startup called Velocity. Now we developed a mobile app to help athletes train cognitive skills, and I sunk thousands of hours and $50,000 into this project. I wrote over half a million lines of code based on my GitHub commits, deployed a React Native app to the App Store, and managed a team of four other software engineers. We even got to about 5,000 users, which was pretty exciting, but ultimately this startup failed for many reasons that I've talked about in another other video. Anyways, I lost my $50,000 investment. I didn't take a salary at all during this time. We lost investor money as well, which is honestly the most disappointing part to me. And this was really a tough period, but the experience was invaluable. And I learned how to build a product from scratch, lead a team of engineers and deal with a ton of high level design challenges and architecting a really big project. Now, failure is a part of this journey, and although this did probably lose me about half a million dollars in opportunity costs, considering what I could have been doing in the meantime, this is where I truly feel like I really leveled up as a developer, and I built something that I'm really proud of and required me to learn a ton of new skills. I really don't think you can learn more than when you're working at a startup. You don't have a boss. It's completely on you and you need to make this thing work. And even though it didn't end up working, I still built all of the software. Anyways, while this startup was winding down, I did end up taking on some freelance developer work at that time. I can't disclose the exact projects, but I can tell you that I was paid anywhere between 200 to 400 US dollars per hour. And that's really the beauty of having strong skills, a solid reputation, and the personal brand that I had. You can always find work, you can always command premium rates, and I can just take on random projects pretty much whenever I want because I have a lot of inbound demand and make 5K, 10K, just a week or two weeks worth of work. Anyways, then in 2023, I joined Course Careers as the main instructor for their software development program. Again, this course is still running today. Now, this course really does cover everything you need to become a junior software engineer. And we actually have other courses that are a part of this taught by instructors like Web Dev Simplified. You may know him. He has a very large YouTube channel as well. Now, while I was doing this, I also coded various parts of the learning platform. So they have a custom LMS or learning management system. And when I was doing that, I was paid $200 per hour as a freelance developer. And then all of the royalties from the course and that kind of stuff was separate. So I had two roles. I was kind of like a developer where I was doing Node.js and TypeScript work. And then I had the role of actually building the course, which was a separate contract and a separate deal. Now from Course Careers alone, I've made about a quarter million dollars as well from sales, freelance coding, etc. Again, I'm just being open with you guys and telling you how much money I've made from this stuff. Now, during the entire time that I was working on this course, I was also, of course, developing this YouTube channel where I focus on teaching people how to code. Now, at the time of filming this video, I have over 1,400 YouTube videos. That is crazy to say. 1.7 million subscribers and 173 million views. I've done 12 hour streams. I've done 20 plus episode tutorial series, hour long videos, multiple hour long videos, spent literally tens of thousands of hours, no exaggeration, working on coding projects behind the scenes and then presenting and teaching them on YouTube. So with that said, what's the point of me showing all of this to you? Well, it's not to show off how much money I've made. I could do that in way better ways. The point is to show you what's possible and what it takes to actually get good at what you do. In about five years, I've gone from making $20 an hour to earning six figures on single projects. I've experienced corporate work, startups, freelancing, product development, content creation, teaching and running my own business. And I've had massive successes and also very painful failures. Now, none of this happened by accident and it definitely didn't happen overnight. It happened because I started coding at 12 years old. I built dozens of projects before I even had a job. I was constantly learning new technologies, taking risks, and I never stopped creating. You can see from this YouTube channel alone, I've really never gone more than seven days without posting a video, and that's been for nearly seven years now. Software engineering has given me the freedom to work how I want, when I want, and with whom I want. Now, with that in mind, if you're just starting out here, don't be intimidated by this journey. I hope that it actually inspires you. You definitely don't need to follow the same path. In fact, I recommend that you don't, but what you do need to do is put in the work, build projects, share your knowledge, take risks, and most importantly, don't stop learning, especially in this industry. Now, the one thing that I do pride myself in is consistency. And I can tell you that if you do anything consistently and put in a massive amount of volume, you will be successful. I don't know a single person who has done this for years on end that hasn't had that success. 
Now, with that said, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. I hope that you found this valuable and more importantly, inspirational. And I would love to hear your journey in the comments down below. Also, don't forget about Dev Launch. If you're interested, you can check it out from the description. And I will see you in the next video.